Hello, I hope you are enjoying our Advent Reflections. I certainly have been. Well, today it's time for us to think about Joseph. And I'll start with reading the Gospel that tells us most about Joseph's role in the Nativity. And it comes from Matthew 1, verses 18 to 25. The birth of Jesus Christ. This was how the birth of Jesus Christ took place. His mother Mary was engaged to Joseph. But before they were married, she found out that she was going to have a baby by the Holy Spirit. Joseph was a man who always did what was right, but he did not want to disgrace Mary publicly, so he made plans to break the engagement privately. While he was thinking about this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, descendant of David, do not be afraid to take Mary to be your wife, for it is by the Holy Spirit that she has conceived. She will have a son, and you will name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Now all this happened in order to make what the Lord had said through the prophet come true. A virgin will become pregnant and have a son, and he will be called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. So when Joseph woke up, he married Mary, as the angel of the Lord had told him to do, but he had no sexual relations with her before she gave birth to her son, and Joseph named him Jesus. Well obviously a very special man because we don't hear Joseph saying anything but he's actually about as obedient as Mary was just as obedient quiet reliable and loyal he plays his part perfectly he doesn't question he listens he believes he acts he was a really special man and I think that they were picked as a couple to fulfill God's plan because of this the verses state that Joseph always did what was right. Well, he certainly did. Like it or not, in those times, an unmarried mother couldn't manage without male support. Mary needed Joseph on the census journey and later even more so on the flight to Egypt. There is no doubt that Joseph had an exceptional relationship with God. God spoke to him in dreams through the Lord's angels. And Joseph always listened and obeyed immediately. He was wise and open to guidance. We would do well to follow Joseph's example. And I'm going to stress the following pointers to help us in our own journey with God this Advent. One, find time to listen to God. Two, accept his wise guidance. Three, try not to question what he says, as this will allow us to talk ourselves out of things. Four, care for others. Five, do what is right. Six, learn to look for the bigger picture. Seven, be prepared to change our plans. This is especially true at the moment. Eight, believe that God always knows what's best for our lives and has plans for us. Let's play, pray together now. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for Joseph and his part in Jesus' birth and life. Thank you for all he did and how he did it. Help us to follow his example in our daily lives and take care of the precious people you have surrounded us with. In your name, Amen. Thanks for listening. Happy Christmas.